Hello everyone, in this video we're going to set up basic RTS controls. Game Creator allows for a lot more than just standard 3D games and real-time strategy is one of those. In this video we'll address how to set up some of those controls. Before we start I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support this scene will be made available on Patreon. So before we set this up I briefly want to show what we're doing here. So we have multiple players in our scene, but they're not controllable. So I cl and click all around and nothing happens. And the moment I select one of these, they'll start to move. Now, if I use the middle mouse button on this player, it will deselect him and I can select another. If I double click on the terrain, everything is deselected and again nothing happens. Now this is something really basic, it's not entirely comprehensible yet so don't expect this to be a full on tutorial showing how to build an entire FPS, RTS game, sorry. This is literally just the basic controls first so you can get started. So let's set up this scene. So we're starting our scene from scratch, so let's add a plane here. I'm going to res let's make it bigger for once. I always use nah. Let's just do six by six. I'm used to that. I'm I'm fine with that. So I'm going to rename this terrain. It's not an actual terrain object, it's you know, just makes sense. Then next up I'm going to add a player. So game creator, player, and first thing first, I'm going to turn off is controllable. Then I'm going to turn on can use navigation mesh and input type, I'm going to change it to point and click. Now, this is the important part. You can change all of this. So if you want input to be with a different mouse button, you know, go ahead. If you want him to be able to walk with the right click, then you know, select, right click, etc. So this is up to you. You know, it doesn't really matter that much. It's whatever you makes you happy, really. Then next up, we need a camera motor. And for the camera motor, I'm going to um, go with a follow camera that right now won't actually follow anything. I think that's actually quite important to point out this camera motor is not really going to follow any objects so it will be able to follow if you you know play around with controls a bit so that's why i'm setting it up like this so right now this will use our terrain as an anchor i'm going to change this to 888 you can change it to whatever you want obviously and look at this going to be camera now, the way this results, if I hit play right now, it gives us this camera. So obviously we can't do anything right now because we turned off player is controllable, but this is the camera it results in. Maybe it's a bit too up close, so you can just, you know, change the Y axis, you know, whatever makes you happy. Um, but yeah, you know, you have to find values that work for you. So that's why I went with eight by eight by eight. So next up, we're going to add some input to this player. Now the player is obviously going to be key here and I will be using action pack two to highlight the player. And this is just, you know, a visual trick. It's not necessary to make any of this work, but it's a pretty decent visual highlighting tool. And I think it's, uh, it's useful to add. So let's get started with our triggers first. So I'm going to have a trigger for on mouse click and I'm going to use the left mouse click again. If you want that to be something else, then just, you know, change it to something else. But I think left mouse clicks makes a lot of sense in all honesty. Then I'm going to add some actions here and let's call these actions select. There we go. 
and these actions will be pretty simple so we're going to add a property player is controllable is going to be turned on but we're not going to use player we're going to use invoker because we're uh, you know we're selecting this object so this is the invoked object and next up we're going to add a highlight I'm going to go with a blue-ish color something like this and I'll make this too it's otherwise it's a bit you know not really seeable and yeah there we go now we need to select which object is going to be highlighted so we'll drag in the player and there we have it really easy I'm going to duplicate this set I'm going to call it deselect and we're turning off controllable again and we'll need a different action which is going to be highlight object off and that obviously will be our player again so we'll drag in the player and we have to create a trigger for this so I use a uh, middle mouse click I mean you can use something else I think middle mouse click is decent but yeah again you know that's up to you whatever you prefer in terms of input so and we drag in the deselect so two really simple triggers let's actually keep them open and let's give this a try and you know see if it works So I'm clicking anywhere on the field, nothing happens. I select the player, he gets highlighted, and now I can move him around. Now if you think the left mouse click is confusing to use as well, you can obviously just you know change the movement direction with right mouse click. So as you can see, the camera is not following the player, and that's because in well most RTSs it doesn't really work that way. So yeah, really simple. We middle mouse click on the player and he's no longer selected. Cool. Now, how does this function with multiple? Well, the way we set this up using invoker in order to do this, it will um, work straight away actually. So you can literally just duplicate these and you know, it just works. That's pretty much it. Not much else to say here. Now we do, want to add one other thing and this is not you know necessary I'd say but I, I do like it so I'm going to add a trigger on our terrain here and our trigger has a mesh collider which is well a bit strange maybe but you know it has a collider our terrain and I'm going to do the middle mouse click again to keep things consistent and where is ah middle mouse and I'm going to do a double click and now let's just add these actions the conventional way and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our deselect and copy these over and the reason I'm copying um, these over is because basically it will you know function the same if you have a more complex system which i'm sure you will once you create an fps it will be useful to actually you know expand this system and automatically add objects to list variables which will automatically be selected but that's a, a tiny bit more advanced and you know you can get to that later on this is just going to be the basics going to do character and I'm going to drag in our player duplicate all of these and you know player one two so we have our players and then the next thing we need from deselect is the highlighting so we're copying that over pasting it in and we have our first player and let's make sure every other one is in there as well so let's make sure they're not actually stuck on each other let's drag them out a bit there we go so hit play and there we have our scene so now if i you know select these all works if i double click 
on the terrain, you know, he gets deselected. And, you know, I can still use double, um, you know, middle mouse click on the character as well. And, yeah, that's it really. That's uh, that's literally all you have to do. So, it's uh, I know it's a bit of a short video, but I just wanted to show how to set up some basic RTS controls. I know some people ask for this, and I've seen it come up a couple of times, so I thought it would be useful to address this. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.